This picture illustrates the left rear wheel well with the wheel removed. Locate the two 13mm fasteners as indicated by the green arrows for the sway bar bushing mount. Apply penetrating oil to the fasteners and allow it to soak before attempting to loosen them. Use a 13mm socket and ratchet and remove the fasteners. They will probably have blue thread locker on them and you will have to ratchet them all the way out. Remove the sway bar bushing bracket from the sway bar. Slide the bushing along the sway bar and open up the split in the bushing to remove it from the sway bar. You can remove the rear sway bar links and pull the sway bar completely out of the car if you like. You do not need to do this if you are only replacing the sway bar bushings. There is enough room above the subframe to pull the sway bar all the way out, but also enough just to reach in and replace the bushing. Installation is the reverse of the removal procedure. Wrap the new sway bar bushings around the sway bar and position them around the mounting bracket. You can use white lithium grease to lubricate between the sway bar and the sway bar bushings before. Installation. Install the sway bar bushing mount bracket around the sway bar bushing and tighten the fasteners. If you remove the rear sway bar links, install and tighten those fasteners. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.